Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Big breaking news today coming from the Premier League. A ball might not have even been kicked in this division, but there's been so much news surrounding it today. We've got obviously Jesse Marsh being sacked from Leeds United as their manager, but overshadowing everything and everything today is the massive, colossal, gargantuan, big breaking news that Manchester City have been accused by the Premier League of breaching financial rules this could date back to 10 11 12 13 14 15 years or so since the manchester city takeover it is big breaking news and it could be uh, uh, groundbreaking as to what we see of the premier league and of manchester city going forward in the future this could potentially have big ramifications big consequences for city if they are found guilty of these things it is massive uh, this this potential big breaking news. We're going to be talking all about it. We're going to be discussing it and everything else in between with regards to Manchester City and these accusations. But before we go any further, I would like to remind you all to please like the video and also subscribe if you're new. Both of are always and forever greatly appreciated. But for now, let's talk Manchester City. Let's talk these big, big, big allegations made by the Premier League. Basically, this was brought to the, brought to the public domain or brought to the public eye mainly uh, by the Times chief sports reporter Martin Ziegler. He came out on Twitter and basically uh, stated that Manchester City have been charged by the Premier League with numerous breaches of financial rules following a four-year investigation. This is unprecedented and goes on to list a number uh, uh, of breaches and said that the, the total could be well over 100, which is absolutely crazy, absolutely bizarre, absolutely incredible. Um, other sources are claiming that City are accused by the Premier League of not providing accurate financial information, in particular with respect to its revenue, including sponsorship revenue, its related parties, and its operating costs. And this, like I say, has been heavily suspected for a while, and I'll go more on about that in a, in a minute. But this is big. This is huge. This is very, very serious for obvious reasons. This is incredible to think that it's taken this long for everything to be gathered up as evidence, and it now feels, obviously from the breaking news, that the Premier League seemingly has enough evidence and enough... Um, just enough evidence in general just to charge Manchester City with these breaches of their own rules and look it wasn't too long ago we were in the situation with UEFA UEFA accused City of something similar they seem to ha have um, the evidence and everything but because UEFA are uh, so poorly run and made an absolute uh, mockery of themselves in that particular trial obviously Manchester City pretty much got away with it they weren't completely innocent because what kind of innocent party gets fined for being completely innocent so they they weren't completely innocent but I think through loopholes and um and other little bits and pieces that they managed to sort of bend uh, the rules and the laws to to their favor obviously City managed to dodge a, a big bullet there um, and obviously, in the process, make UEFA look like a complete bunch of idiots. But this one feels slightly different. This one feels like there's more substance to it. This one feels like there's 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 potentially uh, more weight behind these accusations. And if there is, it's possibly going to be ground sh groundbreaking for a lot of. Um, for, for obviously Manchester City is going to be a reality check to Manchester City and it'll be interesting to see what the repercussions would or if the repercussions do come in what that means for, for them as a club as well as their fan base and everything else that goes along with it um, but it also could be big for the Premier League it could be big for the, for the English footballing pyramid in general and it also could lead potentially to more and it could open up a whole can of worms in terms of maybe other teams have done something similar. You're seeing Chelsea right now spending so much money across uh, ac across these past six or seven months alone 
and they now looking at it going we better slow down here just in case they start looking at us or are they completely innocent in their own right there's so many things that could potentially spiral from from this and spin off from this uh, this one um, incident with one one case so as it were but let's but let's face it if they are found guilty the instant ramifications or the big ramifications seem to be they'll be kicked out of the Premier League and potentially the Football League in general possibly going to non-league imagine that you turn up for your Sunday league team and you're at the Etihad for that week crazy um, and then obviously there's the other ones that are like points deductions and uh, big fines and obviously there have to be big fines for, to, for it to be Manchester City but you know the likelihood is it probably be just pocket money in comparison to what they give them but whatever it may be the big ones that stand out obviously they're going to be kicked out of the Premier League or get a massive points deduction or maybe even both maybe they'll get kicked out of the Premier League and have to start the next season with a ma with a hefty points deduction we'll have to obviously wait and see this uh, this case is obviously in the hands of the powers that be the judges and the authorities that be and we'll have to just wait and see what unfolds from this because this is obviously still in, within its early stages having only broke today but we've all suspected this for a long time we've all suspected that there's been a bit of some dodgy and suspicious goings on with Manchester City in terms of cooking the books, so to speak, and in terms of their, uh, their their financial evidence. The biggest one for me was obviously where they claim to be making more money in certain aspects and in certain ways, more than the likes of Real Madrid and Manchester United, you know, the and, and even Liverpool, like the biggest global football teams on the planet have a massive global reach um have been in europe for many a year european history european heritage world heritage in the world of football apparently manchester city who not trying to be hyperbolic or banterous in this were a big team for the past 15 years coincidentally in that time frame of their new owners coming in to this are apparently now earning more money than those super uh the, those super teams those uh gargantuan teams those col those those huge teams that uh, and clubs that have been around um for many a year performing at a top uh, at a proper top level in comparison to manchester city with all due respect it was it was just very suspicious and like I say, I think the biggest surprise for a lot of us is that obviously this wasn't found out sooner. This wasn't taken into account sooner. This wasn't in investigated sooner. And it and like I say, a four year investigation, a long time to investigate. So like I say, they must have got all their evidence together by now. They must have been it must have been thorough. And I can imagine it's gonna be uh it's 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 going to hit them hard i would imagine i would i would imagine and hope that if it's going to be a four year investigation that you put a lot of work into it's got to be solid it's going to be thorough and they've definitely got something not like the wafer investigation which completely collapsed it seemed this one has to be done right and if it is genuine because let's face it a lot of people out there are, are, are saying that this is done and dusted. City, are, City are done and dusted. Obviously, we'll have to wait. Fair trial and all that. We've got to wait until it all comes out. Maybe City can try and justify it. And let's face it, they've got a lot of money to put into a lot of lawyers who can obviously try and fight their case for them. So they're bringing all of their firepower against the Premier League. And, you know, maybe a breakaway European Super League might not seem like a bad idea now for Manchester City, with all things considered. Um, but, yeah, they're going to bring all their firepower with them to defend themselves. The Premier League, I would imagine, have seemingly got something that's at least concrete in all this, but how significant that will be will obviously be determined in, in court, and we'll have to wait and see how that pans out and plays out. But it's completely bizarre. And like I say, kicked out the Premier League, kicked out the Football League, potentially, points deductions, all, all mad. And then you've got the other, the other kind of argument of how far 
will it go? You're talking about the last 10 years, 10 to 15 years or so, somewhere between then and there as to when this first became apparent. And you're thinking like, does that mean the trophies in that time get voided? Does the league titles then go down to the team that finished in second? Because you can do that with league titles. You can say that the league titles go to the team that finished in second. So I think that United probably get three more titles than, than they already have right now. Liverpool probably get three more titles than what they have right now. And I think maybe Chelsea or someone else is, uh, is in there as well. But what if? But what about the cups? Do the cups go to the runners up in that competition? Because that's a bit more convoluted. Because obviously, in a cup, it's a knockout, so it could just simply go to the runners up of those competitions. It might not. It might. It might just be a avoided kind of thing. How far do you go? If it is true and it's all found to be city that uh, that city are guilty. You're taking away monumental, massive moments in Premier League history. The Centurion season is gone. The Aguero moment can never be replayed again. It can never uh, be seen again as a top moment. Because it, it's voided. It's voided. It, it was based off of, off of cheating. It was based off of breaching rules. It was based off of just cheating essentially it was based off of cheating and obviously when you have that platform of cheating you're only building up from there so the platform of cheating is laid down and it works its way up the city have been building so everything that city have done from that platform of cheating is still cheating year in year out the the income you've got from uh, winning competitions the income you've got from winning the premier league building your club up from just this team that was just a mediocre Premier League team before you were taken over to be building up to this superpower team of today that is still building and still trying to get to a global sort of high, a high global level but obviously it's just still building but still getting better still winning trophies still uh, obviously uh, gaining all this support from from worldwide that's where that's where obviously it all stems from and if you wipe out that platform everything else comes crashing down and that's the question of how far back does this go is there something legitimate and genuine to it um and i just wonder like what does this mean for the past 10 to 15 years of football because to me then it all seems voided it all seems pointless Bizarre because it all stems from Manchester City getting that takeover and then building themselves up and obviously going toe to toe with Manchester United in 2012, going toe to toe with Liverpool these past few years, in which both teams have continued to try and raise each other's bar and obviously fight for Premier League titles and so on and so forth and be this this incredible rivalry uh, that's been built up. How far does this go? How uh, and what are the ramifications of it in that aspect? Of course, it's not the, the be all and end all. It's not the vital part of this. The investigation will obviously take its place in court, and we'll get to see then um, what everything, uh, how it all plays out, and what then the ramifications are mainly for City before dealing with all this stuff. But this is. This is gargantuan. This is massive, massive news. And this is news that, like I say, a lot of people suspected for a long time. We didn't think it would come to this. Does this open a can of worms now for the Premier League to investigate other clubs? Is Chelsea going to be next, for example? Because there's been a lot of talk, obviously, about their spending. And whilst, obviously, it seems sort of legitimate in a way because they're, 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 they're exploiting the rules a little bit uh, in, in obviously a, a lawful way and a, a guilty free way, shall we say. Are they going to be nice because of how much they've spent in the past several months? Are other teams cooking the books like what City have been seemingly doing? Because let's face it, let me say, 
even from the outside looking in it, it all seemed a bit dodgy and if we could see it from the outside looking in then obviously the Premier League has spent all this time investigating it surely they must have something that's a little bit more concrete than just a, a vague guess or just a, a, a an accusation it's all going to be very interesting to see how this plays out and I for one uh, I'm, I'm going to be watching this I'm very interested if it's if it's found out that it's all it's all Manchester City's fault and they're all guilty and everything it'll be interesting to see where they could go from there do they face getting kicked out of the Premier League and maybe even the Football League altogether? If that does happen, what happens to their club? Does the does their owners sell up? Does Pep Guardiola walk away? Uh, do the players walk away? Is it going to be a bit of a fire sale at Manchester City when that happens? Um, <laughs> you know, what of um, their fan base? Does their fan base walk? They've obviously gained a lot of fans over these past uh, these these recent years through their success mainly not saying the glory hunters but just saying uh that their success has obviously grown as i was talking about earlier but it's grown on basically a lie and basically by cheating do their fan base walk find another club whatever it may be but if they're not and let's just play a devil's advocate if they're not and this is another failure of an investigation if this is the premier league either not conducting the investigation correctly or whether City have the answers to all of the Premier League's questions what does this mean for the Premier League then? it basically means FFP is, is, is done and dusted, we already know FFP is pretty much done and dusted anyway but that is going to be done and dusted completely, dead and buried we know that they're a joke They'll make, they'll make a mockery of themselves similar to what UEFA did the trust is gone and what would it mean for the other 19 clubs that are going to be within that division having to work with them under them in that kind of environment there's a lot of questions obviously like I say this is obviously very early days it's obviously the breaking news today regarding City and everything and I'm very intrigued uh, to, to know more, to watch this unfold. And I'm very intrigued to get your thoughts and comments and opinions as well in terms of um, uh, 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 what you make of this whole situation. Like I say, I'm very intrigued by this. I personally, I'm not going to say too much about it in terms of what I believe. Like I say, we've all suspected that there's been some sort of foul play involved for quite a while when it comes to City and obviously... Um, their finances and everything and I think it's all come to a head today whether that means that they're completely guilty or not I don't know but I would imagine after a four year investigation with them dodging a budget bullet with UEFA the Premier League might have something a bit more concrete and might have something with a bit more weight behind it that might just cause City to wobble a little bit and then of course what the ramifications could possibly present to not just Man City themselves but to the rest of the Premier League and to English football itself that could be very interesting to watch unfold as well but obviously we'll have to just wait and see what happens whether the Premier League completely cock this up or whether uh, obviously City are indeed guilty of the things that they are being accused of which is breaching many 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 financial rules and when I don't many they're possibly saying it's over a hundred so that is quite a lot but of course as I always say these are just the thoughts comments opinions predictions feelings whatever you want to call it of this guy I want to know what you guys think what do you make of this big breaking news today that Manchester City have been accused by the Premier League of breaching financial rules and possibly face uh, being get being got rid of entirely by the Premier League of their division and maybe even the Football League in general. I'd love to know your guys' thoughts, your comments, opinions, predictions, feelings, whatever you want to call it, down below in the comment section on this particular subject. Massive topic of discussion here, guys. Would love to read your comments on this one because I'm sure they'll all make for interesting reading. Otherwise, hit that like button on the way up. Enjoy the video. Subscribe if you're new and want to see more content like this. Both things always and forever be greatly appreciated. And as always, thank you all so much for watching and listening. I've been Fletch. This has been another Fletch Talks video. 
and I will see you all again soon in another video.